hope you're having an inspiring day. Welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel if you are new. Today I am doing a Lulu's haul and try on with a bit of outfit ideas as well because I specifically chose a lot of these items to put together outfits that I had in mind. So I've shopped from Lulu's quite a bit in the past uh, but only like here and there and they were so gracious to actually provide me a credit so I could show you guys some of the items in full all at once um, and do a little haul with you guys. So these pieces were gifted from Lulu's but they're ones that I either had in my cart for a really long time or ones that I would actually buy on my own so they did not in any way like sponsor the messaging for this haul. If you like this video make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up. Comment below and let me know as always if you liked any of these pieces. I love hearing what your favorites are from my hauls and if you are new to the inspired family thank you so much for watching these videos or giving these videos a try and we hope you'll join us here in our little inspired family. But with that let's get right into the haul. Simba are you gonna help me unbox these or are you just gonna lie here and nap? He's gonna lie here and nap. All right, so first up is this rainbow colored sweater that I had had my eyes on forever. Something about rainbow colors, I typically like to keep neutrals in my closet, but something about a statement rainbow sweater like this just brings joy into my life, and maybe because I've been watching Mary Kondo tidying up, but I just feel like this is a piece that I put on and I'm just... I start to smile so really excited to bring this into my closet and this was $44 all right I'm the cheesiest person in the world because I literally just put this on and it just brings me so much joy I love the colors on it it just feels so bright and so happy and just reminds me of rainbows but here it is it's such a comfortable sort of sweater jersey material I also really like the balloon sleeves here I feel like it gives it an extra little bit of stylistic element and this is so comfortable it basically feels like pajamas, but I just love the colors. I love the stripes. I'm a neutrals person, but every once in a while, colors are the way to go. Next up, I got this really cozy and comfy teddy bear jacket. You guys might have seen um, a lighter colored one that I styled in a previous outfit video, but I had been wanting like a sort of camely, warmer brown tone. The quality of this is so, so nice, and this one was $62. And here is the teddy bear jacket on. I love how wide this collar is. I feel like it gives it such a cool vibe. And the crop is really nice as well because I feel like this will look really good with even like a skirt or a dress. The fleece and this sort of teddy material is literally my favorite fabric of the winter season this year because it gives me an excuse to look comfy and chic all at the same time, but I just love how this color sort of looks, even with this rainbow top underneath. I also really like the zipper detail. This little knobby circular pull-up thing here it gives it such a nice feel to it and a little bit more of an elevated look. I almost actually bought one of these from H&M, but I'm so glad I didn't because this one's quality is just so, so much better, and this was actually cheaper than the one that I saw at H&M. I also got this jacket in a size medium just because I wanted it to fit a little bit oversized. I wanted it to be able to layer it up with things. Next up, you guys will know I'm on a little bit of the corduroy tip right now. I just love corduroy for the winter time because it's really, really warm and it also adds a lot of texture to your clothing. So I picked up this brown camel corduroy blazer. It's actually got a belted action here, which is removable, which I really like just because it gives you that stylistic uh, variety. And this one here was only $67. Here is the blazer on and oh, I am so in love with this. I'm wearing it with the belted action here, but again, you can take off the belt and just wear it as a longer blazer. But I love this color. I just feel like it goes with so much. It gives any outfit that sort of a warmer vibe. It is a lighter corduroy, which is really nice as well, just because then it'll be able to fit on top of like sweaters and things like that a little bit easier than if it was really thick and structured. I also love the little details that they put into it, like this tortoise shell sort of buckle here, as well as on the button. And in terms of the length, it is perfect. I love my blazers to go just below my bum here just because I find again that it gives you that longer torso look that really really tall feel I also really like popping the top of this lapel here which is why I like it when they have this cut out sort of action and it looks a little bit more chic and like cool although you know I am probably the last thing from cool <laughs> So I picked up two of the Levi's jeans that I've had my eyes on forever. 
I picked up a new pair of Levi's 501 jeans. So these are the Levi's sort of classic denim jeans. I have a pair of these in a light wash, but I kind of wanted to get one in a black. I kind of know the way that 501 jeans fit since I wear my blue ones all the time, but these ones are actually the skinny pair, so they've got a little bit of a tapered leg. So I'm really excited to try these ones on. And these ones here were $98, which is the price for Levi's kind of across the board. All right, here is the black pair on, and they fit exactly how I expected them to. Personally, I size up when it comes to Levi's jeans just because I feel like it gives me a little bit more give and a little bit more movement and looks a little bit more effortless and more of a relaxed feel. This one is a little bit more high-waisted than my other 501 jeans, and I actually really like this sort of lighter wash black denim. It almost looks like a dark gray. I also really like this little bit more of a tapered fit here. I feel like that looks really nice for when you're wearing flats or even if you're wearing heels. And again, I sized up, so I'm typically a size 25, but I went for for a size 26 here. So clearly I have a type. I got another pair of 501 denim jeans here, but this is in a distressed style, again with the skinny leg, and I kind of just like that it's got a little bit of distressed touch to it, and these ones here were $98 as well. And here is the distressed pair on, and I really like this rip detail here. I feel like it gives you that extra sort of cool look, but not too much that it's like overbearing. I just find that like ripped jeans all over the place looks just a little bit too much, and this just kind of looks like really nice worn in like your favorite pair of jeans you've had for 10 years and again in terms of the fit it's exactly the same as the black pair it also has that skinnier tapered fit at the bottom there so these are definitely the 501 skinnies and if you're new to Levi's denim um, the 501 classics have the button up instead of the zipper it's kind of the bane of my existence because I am so impatient and I hate buttoning up each button but I typically leave the bottom two kind of buttoned up always and then just kind of am able to slide it on and button the ones at the top but that that is a part of their classic sort of look. I just feel like it fits so, so well, and this is definitely gonna go into high denim rotation. Next up, I got this beautiful pinstriped brown, because you know I love my warm tones dress. It's got that belted action again, which I really like because it gives you that variety. Button down dress. If you guys have watched any of my other videos, you know that I'm a big fan of button down dresses just because you're able to wear them as like a cardigan or a cover up. And this one here was $58. And here is the dress on. I love this sort of burnt orange brown sort of look. And again, this belted action here is so, so cute. It fits so well, like A-line, but just enough that it doesn't look like a flared out skirt. I didn't actually notice this online, but it has this asymmetrical sort of line going down the side for the buttons, which I think is a really unique touch versus having them like straight down the middle. I just really love how a dress like this kind of transitions really well from going to like work and then going out afterwards. It's just such a smart look and really, really ladylike. Next up and half because I am in the mind of really wanting spring to come and I feel like if I put it into the universe, it will finally come upon us here in Toronto. And the second thing is because I am going to Mexico very soon and I've had like vacation outfits sort of on the mind. I picked up a couple of pieces that I feel like I'm going to wear not only for spring but definitely on my trip to Mexico coming up. So first up we have this dress from Free People. Um, what I really love about Lulu's is they have a lot of my favorite brands available on the site but in a way that's curated um, where I really like the styles. I feel like Lulu's kind of has a lot of the styles and they piece together a lot of the styles that I would typically wear. So I got this beautiful floral sort of flowy red printed dress here. It has these gorgeous sort of boho style flared sleeves with lace detailing. It has a really nice open back and I just feel like this is going to be such a pretty sort of blowing in the wind dress uh, for Mexico as well as for the upcoming spring summer season. And this one here is $128. So here is the dress on and guys I think that this is going to be one of like my top three favorite dresses in my closet by far now. Just the way that it moves and the swishes of the pleating, this balloon sleeve here with the frills and the lace detail. It's just such a beautifully made dress. It's also so, so comfortable just because it's got that um, stretchier sort of waistband in the middle here. 
So the back of this dress really does steal the show. I love that sort of tie-up detailing as well as that sort of open back action that gives it a little bit more of a sexier vibe. So when I shop for dresses, this is literally what I do in like the change rooms and stuff. Just because I want to see how it moves with your body, I find that the most beautiful dresses are the ones that kind of accentuate your body and your curves as you walk and as you move in them. And this dress does it all. <laughs> Next up, I know you kind of can't see the whole thing here, but I got this beautiful pink maxi dress. It's a tie-up wrap dress, which are my favorites, just because it gives you that movement. And I haven't picked up a long, flowy maxi dress in a really long time, so I am so, so excited about this one. I also have a couple weddings coming up, and I feel like this is going to be perfect for those. And this one was $100, so for a wedding outfit, bomb.com. Guys, I feel like such a princess. Oh my gosh, look at this dress. It looks so much more beautiful on than it even does online. The extra fabric at the bottom there really gives this dress such movement and flow. It is that wrap style of a dress, so it is really flexible to your body type. So if you have wider curves or smaller curves, this dress kind of fits it all. And that's kind of why I really like to buy those sort of dresses, especially online. It also has this beautiful sort of off-shoulder action here, which is also comfortable. So I typically stray away from off-shoulder tops because I find that it restricts my arms but this one here is so flowy and beautiful it even has that sort of sheer detail so you almost see the silhouette of your arm as you're sort of moving in it but honestly just the way that this dress moves and the way that it flows off your body is just so so beautiful you also have that sort of sexy action if you need it with that leg sticking out now, this dress is super long. I think that purposely so, so that if you're taller or if you're wearing heels, you can hem it appropriately. But this is just such a versatile maxi dress. And honestly, I think it's going to be one of my absolute faves. Oh, oh, I see. I see. I see you, girl. I see you bouncing. Next up, I got this really, really cute sort of mesh bag. These are super in right now. I've had my eyes on one of these for quite a while now, but I never liked the fact that, like, you literally put things in it and it just falls out. But this one here actually has this sort of mesh insert that comes with it. It sort of just buttons in here, but I like that it's removable because it gives you the option to kind of use them separately if you really wanted to. I also really like these bags for travel because they squish down like this and are so easy to store. And because it's like a stretchy fabric, it lets you put so much in it. And this one I know is gonna fit my camera and also my tablet and obviously all of my personal Percy items. And this one here was only $32. I also have my eyes on the gray version of this. I am a creature of habit, uh, so I might pick that one up too. I know you guys really like it when I put my pieces together and create outfit videos. I'm going to be coming out with another big outfit video very soon soon but in the meantime I'm gonna style up some of these new Lulu pieces that I got for you guys in a quick outfit ideas video for the end of this video I'm lost in your energy you got me feeling weightless no gravity I feel so hurt when you look at me caught up in your sweet sweet fantasy oh my god oh my god It's like I'm in the 
it for my Lulu's haul. I am so, so happy with each and every one of these items. I'm so excited to wear them and put them into rotation. I really hope you guys liked my picks and this haul as well. If you did, make sure to give it a big inspired thumbs up. Let me know in the comments which your favorites were. I love to know. I'll make sure to leave all the links in the description box below as well. Again, they did not sponsor or pay me to say any of these things in this video, but I'm really happy that I was able to show you all of my favorite picks all at once. And if you are new to the Inspired Family, of course, we would love it if you join us and subscribe. And if you are Inspired Fam OGs, thank you for tuning in for another week. And thank you so much for showing me so much love on my recent videos. You have no idea how much that means to me. But with that, I hope you guys have an inspiring day and I'll talk to you next time. Bye. Simbudi. Simbudi, are you gonna say bye? Are you gonna say bye? Bye. Simbubu. Simbubalicious. Simbarama, Simbobo.